afternoon, everyone. Next up is going to be Matt Choi. Matt, if you could just give me a moment to give you a proper introduction. Matt Choi is the founder and chief strategist of Certus Trading, a trading education company dedicated to helping traders achieve consistent winning results. As a CMT, Mr. Choi has over 17 years of experience trading. He is also the co-author of The Winning Way, an Amazon bestseller. Mr. Choi, the floor is yours. Great, thank you, Candace. Appreciate it. Let me grab the screen from you. Make sure things working. Okay, you see my screen? Yep, you look great. Uh, Looks great. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get started. Down time here. Um, first, I want to thank Candace and the Money Show for having me here today. It's always um, a pleasure for me to share my experience and knowledge. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, and tell me that options seems to be very complicated. Um, it takes a lot of math skills and whatnot to be able to trade options, but that's not the case actually. Um, in fact, Warren Buffett have said it numerous times that people with super high IQ, such as 160 or higher, are typically not good traders because they think too much, they overthink, right? So, and actually most um, successful options traders, they simply have the discipline to trade a few strategies well, all right? So it's really quality and not quantity to your trading. And that applies to you know, any kind of trading across the board. So my goal for the next 45 minutes here for you is to share a complete option strategy that you can use today. Um, it is one of the best performing strategies that my students are using right now. And I hope you'll be able to use it um, as well immediately as we head towards the holiday season, okay? So to make sure that I have enough time to give you all the information, I am going to go straight through the presentation without stopping. Quick disclaimer, before we begin, this presentation is for education and entertainment only. Um, it is not to be considered investment advice, never trade with capital that you cannot afford to lose. So I'm gonna start here with something that is actually unrelated to trading, but I think you'll, you'll find it pretty interesting, okay? Uh, it will take me three minutes, you guys okay with that? All right, fantastic. So what do these companies that you're seeing on the screen here have in common? Now, I trust that all of you know Amazon on the left-hand side, so let's start with them. A while back, you've all seen this screen before, something similar, right? My wife and I, we wanted to buy Scrabble to play with our son. You know, we think it's a great way for him to learn new words, spelling, pronunciation, and so forth. So we went on Amazon and we found this for 50 bucks. And with Prime, you know, we can get it here same day in Toronto. Now, um, I scroll down a the page uh, there and I see the frequently bought section and I see other games like Uno um, or the Scrabble Dictionary, classic games like Trivial Pursuit or Risk, uh, Cranium, you know, and these are all the games that I would love my son to learn how to play, right? And of course, you know, I bought a few of these in addition to the Scrabble. And you see, you know, the thousands and thousands of people who bought Scrabble from Amazon probably also bought these other games that I'm showing you right now on the screen. So they know that if they can show me these games at the same time as I'm looking for Scrabble, there's a good chance that I will buy multiples of them. And they were absolutely right. So my point here is simply that, you know, Amazon, they study customer behavior and they use this data. Data is the key word here to offer the right products to consumers at the right time. You know, it's kind of like when you go buy a pair of leather shoes at the mall, right? You know, then the salesperson offers you to buy the protective spray with that, right? I'm sure you know what I mean. How about Uber? Now, here's a map of uh, Manhattan and New York. Now, Uber has collected data from literally millions of rides. You know, they know exactly where all the rides are initiated. They know the most popular destinations, you know, where people go. Um, they know how far each trip travels, right? So in New York, you probably think that places like Times Square or Grand Central Station or Wall Street would have the, you know, the most Uber riders. And um, on average, the numbers that you're seeing on the screen there is on average, a trip out of Times Square is about 3.9 miles, um, a trip out of Grand Central, 4.2 miles, and a trip from Wall Street on average about 4.4 miles. But these three spots don't even make the top 10. Here are the 10 top Uber pickup spots from a distance perspective in New York. Penn Station, Columbus Circle at the top there, Central Park Southeast, way down there, Avenue of America and 23rd, uh, Midtown, Lexington and 60th, okay, 10th Avenue and 43rd on the left-hand side there. Up top, Lexington and 86th, 
York in 72nd, Chelsea and West Village on average 7.9 miles per trip for the driver. So guess what? If I'm an Uber driver, where am I hanging out? Right? West Village, Chelsea, York Avenue in 72nd. The rides from those places are almost double, twice as long, you know, as the one out of Times Square. And of course, if I'm if I'm the driver, I can make a lot more money doing that. Um, and less stressful, right? So it isn't, isn't this data useful? And again, the point is Uber and their drivers, they use real-time hard data to find customers and to get to them quickly. And, you know, this gives them a huge advantage over the traditional yellow caps, right? Let's change gear a bit here. You know, I'm a big hockey fan. You know, my son plays a sport um, heavily into the sport as well. So we talk a lot about hockey at home. Anyhow, this is Frederick Anderson, and he is actually now the goalie for the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, data accumulated over the years show that 14% of the goals he landed were on his blocker side, 21% gloves, um, and a whopping 36% through his five hole. Now, of course, teams playing against him will study these numbers, and guess where they're going to shoot? That's right, through the legs, right? Now, compare Anderson to Tuka Rask of the Boston Bruins. Only 18% of the shots went through his legs, 24% glove side, 28% glove blocker side. Significantly different goalie than Anderson there, right? So if I'm playing against Boston and I'm shooting against Tuca, of course, I'll be shooting blocker side on him. So in the NHL, or actually any pro sport for that matter, teams nowadays use hard data to get an edge, right? And this could well be the difference between winning or losing a game is really a fine line. On a somewhat related note to hockey, this is a photo of me back at the Las Vegas Wind Resort. That's my go-to hotel when we're in town there. Anyway, behind me there is a sportsbook area. Um, I don't gamble too often, but sometimes I do like to play for fun. So this was this past, just this past Sunday, actually. You know, the Dolphins were visiting the Bills. You know, even as a, a Bills fan, you know, being close to Toronto and all, I thought a 14-point spread for the Bills was too much, you know. And being, of course, the football expert that I am, right, I thought 10 points would probably be reasonable, you know, the touch, a touchdown and field goal kind of thing. But 14 point was a stretch definitely for me. So I put down 100 bucks on the Dolphins. And sure enough, the Bills won by 15. They covered the spread and my 100 bucks was gone just like that. So, you know, after the game, typical, my wife said, uh, you know, Matt, you should stick with trading and leave uh, football alone. And she is probably right. And obviously, you know, sports betting is a big business in Vegas, and the bookies know exactly how to create their spreads to their advantage. Um, you know, these are just some of the variables that they use in their data mining. Um, they use literally thousands, you know, and thousands of simulations and permutations to create their spreads every single week. And it's no secret that they've been doing this for a long time, right, in Vegas. And precisely, this is how they are able to consistently you know, dominate the uninformed players, right? Like me. So back to the original question there, what do these companies have in common? And the answer is, of course, they all use a ton of data to be accurate and to be fast. And, you know, whether it's to sell something on Amazon, you know, find a ride on Uber, uh, where to shoot the puck, you know, or spreading a football game, it doesn't matter. And it's not just these four companies, basically any successful companies today relies heavily on data. If we don't have data, they won't be successful. It's really as simple as that. Um, how, does, how does all this relate to trading, you might be asking? Well, it's clear that what I just showed you, businesses, sports teams, organizations, they are successful because they can use data. They can crunch data. They know how to apply it. And trading really is no different. However, if you survey today's traders, 92% of retail traders are still shooting from their hips and they are not using any kind of hard data to get an edge when they are making their trading decisions. Um, instead, they're using their gut feel, they're getting tips from watching TV. Um, there's really a lot of people not are not really doing any research whatsoever. So here's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to share with you a very simple data mining technique to find exactly where most likely the, uh, the stocks are able to, uh, gonna to move up or down and how much they're likely to move, right? Wouldn't that help our trading? I'll then show you how I 14x my return trading this information, this data using options instead of buying the stock themselves, okay? I'll show you a case study of that. All right, so first let's dive into the data mining technique that I wanna share with you. 
And um, this way we can find some stocks that have a good chance of moving in the right direction. So what you see here is the end result of the data mining exercise for ADP, Automatic Data Processing Company. I'm sure you know what this company does. What we're gonna do here is to quickly reverse engineer the process to see how we get this information. Let me explain. Looking at the chart there, between October 14th and January 3rd, we ran into it right now. This stock has been bullish 23 of the past 25 years. This means if you bought the stock on October 14th and sold them on Jan 3rd, you would have made money 23 of the past 25 years. That's just hard facts, hard data, right? So that's 92% accurate. And not only that, your average return during this time would have been on average 7.41% each year. Okay, understand that most stocks don't go up this much, um, you know, in, in a whole year. And here you have it in a couple of months, all right? And if you're able to use options to construct a, a play properly, your return can improve to 100% or higher. And we'll talk about that in a little bit when we look at a trade together. So here's the detailed data um, for each of the past 25 years. It's actually free data that you can download from websites like Yahoo um, or mo even some trading platforms would offer that as well for free. I will show you where to get this information shortly. Okay. So again, that's 92% win rate by simply following the schedule. All right. I call these profit schedules. So are you writing this one down? Because guess what? You can follow this right now. October, we're just starting uh, November right now. You can follow this and see where this goes. You can still trade it if you want to. Um, we're not doing anything fancy here. Write this down so that you can use it again next year, the following year. Put that on your phone. Put it, put it, you know, on a reminder um, option there, so that the phone is going to tell you, hey, you know, Matt, you got this ADP thing coming up, you know, on October the 14th. Get ready for it. That kind of thing, right? So again, we're not doing anything fancy. Just following the hard data. If you're a more visual person, here are the charts that correspond exactly to what we're seeing here on the screen. Um, the white arrow represents the duration of the trade. 96 was a winner. 1997 was a big winner. 98 was a winner. Big win in 99. Small win in 2000. 2001 was a big win. 2002 was a big win. And keep in mind that we don't necessarily have to hold till January 3rd. A lot of times when the stock peak up early, you know, we can obviously exit a little earlier so that we don't give any money back. Okay. Nice win in 03. 04 was another winner. 05 was a nice winner. Um, solid win in 06. A loser in 2007. And I want to point out that, folks, it's not perfect. There will be losers along the way. Okay? So we have to be prepared for that and manage risk properly as usual. All right? 08 was a back to the winning ways here. 09, a big winner. 2010 was a nice 10-plus um, percent move for the stock. Winner in 11. Eked out a win in 212. Um, another 11% move in 2013. I remember that one. Huge winner in 14. Small win in 15. Big win in 16. 17 was a winner. A loser in 2018. Nice win in 2019. And last year in 2020, it was another winner, despite this whole COVID mess and what it was doing to the market at that time. Um, here is another visual of the data. I like to just look at the data in different ways. Um, that's 23 out of 25 years or about 92% win rate during the same time each year. Uh, this is a very strong profile. So we got to look at it when we see one. So make sure you write this down so you can follow it right now and use it again in the future, All right? So how did I figure this out? For those of you who have never met me in the past, I'll keep this intro very short. Um, but I figured I probably have met some of you already at the shows or an online a webinar or one of my live events. Um, anyhow, I lived in Toronto, Canada with my wife and my son. I've been trading for almost 20 years now, actually. Um, I swing trade futures, currencies and options. And most of my trades are anywhere from a few days long to a few months long. I'm not a long term trader, more of a short term, intermediate term guy. Um, as a chartered market technician CMT, I trade primarily technicals. And the reason I use technicals is because it allows me to quantify the rules, you know, into numbers, right? So, so, so basically what I'm saying is that if I see something, then I would, I know exactly what I would do. So if I see A, then I'll do B. If I see C, then I'll do D. 
So when I see a pattern like ADP being up 23 of the past 25 years, or even you know 14 out of 15 years, you know a few years back, it's clearly a repetitive pattern, right? So then, you know, I, I put in some rules and I just trade it over and over again based on that data. Um, I'm a pretty. Uh, I'm a, I, sometimes you know for me, you know I'm. Um, I get distracted, you know, to be honest with you. So with these rule-based strategies that I have, it reduces my hesitation, it reduces my emotions, um, it reduces my, you know, kind of paralysis, you know, when when I'm doing these, uh, these this kind of work, you know, and I simply try to follow the rules as best as I can. Um, I keep my trading as simple as possible. And over the years, I've taught many traders how to do the same. Um, the way I trade, I don't really need to sit in front of my computer. Everything is all digitalized right now. Um, anything, any, any opportunity or setup pops up, I would know on my phone or through email, you know, and that's the time when I get on the screen and start trading. Okay. So just to keep things simple so we can do other things with our lives. Now, uh, enough about me, let's keep moving here. So where do we find this information that I just showed you with ADP? So let's take a look at that right now. So what you can do, one method, is, um, you can actually get the free data, the raw data from yahoo.com. So if you go to the finance tab there on Yahoo, you can do that, click on that. Here at the top, you can type in a symbol that you would like to find that kind of pattern for, the profit schedule for. Um, I like PNG, so here you see that I typed in a, um, the stock symbol PG on that screen. Then you wanna click on the historical data tab, um, and then you just have to fill in the information. You want to get about 20 years of data. So that's a good chunk of data that you can look at. Um, click download, and you're gonna get a spreadsheet downloaded right on your computer. Now, when you open the spreadsheet, you will see this. You will see about six or seven columns on, on there. All you need are two columns. One is the, the date, the date, okay? And also the adjusted close. You want the adjusted close because um, it considers the, re, uh, the splits and the re, reverse splits for the stock. And that keeps the data more congruent um, and continuous, okay? After you do that, you want to pivot. You can use the pivot table option in uh, if you if you use Excel, okay, where you have the date alongside the left hand column. Across the top, you have the year, and in the middle is the data for the adjusted close. Okay, so that's what you want to get to. And here's the more tedious part of the process. You need to comb through the data and figure out um, a certain period of time, maybe a month or two months, you know, where the stock is either very bullish. Or very bearish. So here's a, you know, in that little green circle there, it's um, uh, rectangle there. You see that I blocked off a chunk of data, where I see PNG has been very bullish. All right. And in the end, after this all fun exercise, we end up with this again. So basically, you want to filter it down to this information from July 29th to October the 8th. The stock has been bullish 19 of the past 21 years. So that's about 90% of the time. Um, and basically anything over 80% is great to trade with. And during this period of time, on average, the stock goes up 4.83% a year. Okay, um, I want you to write down 4.83%. 4.83% each. Just jot this down. I'll tell you why a little later. All right, so remember, 4.83% may not seem to be a lot, but for a blue chip boring stock like Procter & Gamble, is a pretty good move uh, for over uh, just over just over two months, right? Here's the detailed data. Okay, now with this kind of information, we have an edge because if you want to trade PNG, you want to wait for a period like this in, from July to October. Why bother trading it during other times? You know, when you know this it, this is the time of the year, you know where the stock has the highest chance of going up. Okay, now as I said before, there's nothing wrong with buying the stock and. And, and making the 4.83% each year. But I said earlier that you know, using options is also another way to trade this kind of a profit schedule. Let's do that now. I want you to look at the red square there. So that was back in 2019. I wanna show you how we use options to trade that particular move, okay? Let's do that now. So here um, was the, the options chain for PNG back on July 29th of 2019 uh, when the schedule began. Now, the stock was trading right at near 115 at the time. Look at the red arrow in the middle there. And we used a bull call spread to trade this move. So what we did here was we bought the 115 calls for three, uh, 373 each, and we sold the 120 calls 
for 151 each. And we did 40 spreads. As you can see in those boxes there, uh, look at the top right-hand corner. We used the October 18th expiration for these options. Remember, the, the schedule completes itself on October the 8th. So using an expiration around that time, um, in this case, October the 18th works pretty well. It doesn't have to be exact, obviously, and um, just somewhere nearby where you have liquid options. Okay, Weekly or monthly options would be okay. And here's the risk graph of the trade. And I want to point you to the, uh, the, the red box on the top there. Okay, the total cost for this trade is $8,800 for 40 spreads. Okay, if you're just starting out, if you're just starting out, you can do one spread or even paper trade it for a little bit, right? One spread would cost you $222, All right? How did we get 222? Look at the green box there. We bought the 115 call for $3.73 or 373 bucks and sold the 120 for 151. So the net is simply 222. Also understand that um, 222 is also the maximum risk for this trade. As you get more comfortable with it, you know, then you can go up to two contracts, four, eight, 16, et cetera, et cetera. But for, to, to start off with, um, start with the minimum, all right? Now in the sm smaller red box, you can see that the maximum possible return is about 125% or 11,120 for the 40 contracts. If you're trading one contract, then it's the, uh, the maximum return is $278, okay, for one contract. The yellow arrow, is where the stock is at right now. The, 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 the green arrow represents the up move that I'm looking for for the stock. Note that the red line there, the red horizontal line represents 120, which is where I want the stock to go, okay? So from the yellow arrow to the red line is 4.6%. That's how far I want the stock to move during this time. Uh, remember, I asked you to jot down a 4.83 number. 4.83 is the average move. 4.6 is what I'm asking the stock to do during this time. Remember, those two numbers needs to jive. They need to be somewhat close, similar. Okay, that makes sense? Fantastic. All right, let's fast forward to October the 8th. Um, and the stock is now trading at 122.84, where the, the blue line is, the green arrow is how far the stock went up. Uh, it's about 7.1% during this time. If I bought the stocks with that capital, I would have made $624. Not too bad, 7.1%. If I used a bull call spread with options, like I just showed you here, the return would have been 105% or $9,400 of profit. All right, so that's over 14 times difference. Okay, now this was back in 2019, two years ago. Um, I purposely did not change my presentation to make a point. Um, we did the same trade in 2020 with my students and the spread made 120%. And this year, the stock also hit our price target on September the 13th uh, during the profit schedule and the spread returned about 85%, all right? So I want to make something very clear. There will absolutely be lose losses along the way. Not every year, you know, will be a winner. Um, I just want you to remember that so that when you practice your risk management, you're allocating your capital properly, okay? But if you can stick to the plan consistently, then over time, the majority of them will be winner, okay? So let's look at another stock schedule. Um, you must be wondering by now, does this also work for stocks that are going down, right? This is a bullish stock. How about bearish? Let's take a look. All right, here's one. Um, between July 16th and September the 6th, Wolf Speed Cree, Okay, symbol C-R-E-E -E, traded down nine of the past 10 years. They used to call themselves Cree. They just changed their name officially to Wolf Speed. Um, I'm not sure why, just the way, just, just to let you know um, in case you were wondering. Okay, but same symbol, C-R-E-E, -E, they didn't change the symbol. All right, nine out of 10 years, the stock went down on average 6.21% during um, about 51 day between July 16th and September the 6th. Here's the detailed, uh, the detailed data. Now, Nine out of 10 years doesn't seem to be a long time, right? But keep in mind, the past 10 years, the past 10 years, the stock market has been very bullish, very bullish. So when you see a stock that kind of goes counter trend, right, you pay attention, <clears throat> okay? So this data was uh, in 2019. In 2020, we did the same trade. Let's take a look at it and see how that worked out. 
So this was July 16, 2020. Um, the stock was trading at 66.28 at the time. And what we did was we bought, in this case, we, used, we did a bear put spread. We bought the 67 and a half puts and we sold the 62 and a half puts. Okay, it's called a bear put spread. And we did 20 contracts in this situation here. You see at the top right corner, we used the September 18th expiration, All right? Close enough to September the 6th. Remember, weekly and monthly works, both, both kinds of options, but you wanna use the, the one that has more liquidity, okay? This is the risk graph here. Uh, you see in the red box that the cost for this trade is 4,200 bucks for 20 spreads. Again, if you're starting out, do one spread for $210. Um, 210, again, is your maximum risk for this trade. Only when you get more comfortable would you want to go up to two contracts, four contracts, eight contracts, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. In the small box, you can see that the maximum possible return is about 138% or 5,800 bucks. Um, and that can be done, you know, if CRE drops to 62 and a half or lower by expiration on September the 18th. The yellow arrow is where the stock is at right now. The green arrow is what I want the stock to drop to. The, the red line is 62 and a half. So I want the stock to go down from about 66.28 down to 62 um, and a half bucks. Okay, so keep in mind that that move that I'm looking for, the green arrow is about 5.7%, 5.7%. On average, the stock drops 6.2% a year, okay? Do you see the alignment? Once again, really important. And again, when, when you structure an options trade, any options trade for that matter, not just this type, you need to make sure that you're not asking the stock to do too much, right? You're not asking the stock to, 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 to make a crazy move in order for you to make money, all right? So you wanna be realistic. You wanna be appropriate when you're setting your targets here. All right, let's fast forward to September the 6th uh, to the end of the schedule. Look at the green arrow. The stock uh, is now at 58.06. It went down about 12% since July 16th. If you shorted the stock, you would have made 12.3% or about $518 um, in total using 4,200 bucks as your capital. Using a bear put spread with options, it returned 105%. Um, and that's about um, eight times the difference, okay? Now, this was last year's data, as I said before. This year, the spread also moved lower and hit our price target um, on August the 18th, and the spread made about 115% this year, okay? So you see that, um, you know, the advantage, right? The advantage of combining these profit schedules with options, okay? You now probably know something that 99% of people out there don't know. Um, I just gave you three different stocks that you can work with, ADP, PNG, and Wolf Speed, and they all have win rates in the past of about 90% or so. All right, you wanna see a couple more? All right, let's do that. So before I explain how you can make these trades with me every single week, um, here's a recap of the five steps that you can do to, uh, if you wanna do this yourself, okay? So be sure to jot these down. Uh, step number one, you wanna download the data, right? Download the data, the raw data from websites like Finance, uh, Yahoo Finance or from your trading platform. Um, and once you get that in the spreadsheet, you want to pivot the years so that you can see the bullish and the bearish patterns. And you want to do this manually a few times so that you can have a full understanding of this. After that, you want to help program, uh, maybe program your Excel um, and whatnot so you can do this in a, more, in a much quicker manner. But the first couple of times, just try it manually. Um, it's, it's, it's really a pain and you know, it's, it's super tedious. You know, but it's uh, it just so that, you know, you can have a feel of it. It's like I was saying, always tell my students, you know, my son is learning how to multiply and divide right now in school, um, right? Would you give him a calculator right now? Of course not. You're going to make him do it, uh, practice it, do it in his head, write it out, show the work, right? And then later on, you know, in his life, then you can introduce a calculator, okay? Now, um, the right option strategy. So for example, if the situation is bullish and implied volatility is low, you can buy straight calls or you can use a bull call spread like I showed you there with the PNG, right? If it was high IV and bullish, you can use a credit spread, a bull put credit spread. If it was bearish and low IV, you can use a long put or bear put spread like I showed you with uh, the wolf speed. Um, and if it was bearish and high IV, 
<clears throat> you want to use a bear call credit spread. Okay, and you want to pick an expiration date that corresponds to the schedule. You want you don't want to use a date that's too short. You don't want to use a date that's too long out either. Um, last step, simply enter and exit the trade based on the dates and make money. That's it. Now, if you feel that this kind of approach works for you and you want to skip steps one to four and go straight to five and make money, I want to help you do that. Um, I am going to give you the best profit schedules and options trades each week. So all you need to do is to spend five minutes putting on them. All right. So if you're interested you know, with, um, to trade with me and would like my help doing this together, you can join my profit scheduler club for options. So let me tell you what the club is all about. Um, it's really based on two fundamentals, right? Number one, every week I do all the data analysis and give you the exact profit schedules for the stocks that are most likely to go up, up or down. Number two, I also give you the options trade, just like the ones that I showed you for PNG and for Cree, all right? And we use spreads, we use straight calls and puts. Um, in a safe manner. That means we don't use naked, uh, we don't trade naked options um, to make sure that, uh, you know, we cover our behind, okay, when it comes to um, uh, risk management, okay? So what happens is when you log into the members area each week, you see the most recent profit schedule published as well as all the archives going back a few years. Um, here is a bullish profit schedule for Netflix from May. Um, click on that and you will see the profit schedule um, and, and it's all the details. Everything you need to know is on this document, okay, that you can download and keep for yourself. And I encourage you to do that. Zooming in at the top, you see that the stock is Netflix here. I sent this out in May to my students. In the past 13 years, write this down, right? Write this down. Netflix traded up 12 of those 13 years between May, May the 8th and July the 16th. About a 70 day period, um, with uh, over like about a 92% accuracy. Now for this trade, we used a bulk cost spread and you see here the expiration date, the strike price, the cost of the trade, the potential ROI and the exact entry date as well. All the details are here. In the middle section are all my comments to cover all the situations, okay? Uh, profit target, risk management and any other nuances that you will need to know throughout the trade. Um, such as how to deal with earnings, if there is one we come across uh, throughout the process, or even how to deal with dividends, especially when, we're, when we have short calls uh, on the trade. How do we deal with that? Um, those are all considered here. And I make sure that everything is consistent from week to week. So that the sheet that you get, they all look the same every single week, all right? It's a process. Um, you know, we follow that to the T as much as possible, all right? So anything from entries and exits, when to get in, when to get out, it's all laid out here for you. At the bottom of this is the risk graph. Um, to me, it's the most important part. This visual, this visual gives you everything you need to know about the trade. Okay, the risk graph, the volatility, right? The PL, right? It tells you, you know, wh what your PL of the options trade will be based on the stock price. So you can kind of make a have a sense of you know when to take profit and so forth. Okay, so this trade was a winner and my students who participated ended up with about 138% return back in July. All right, here's another one um, from October, last October actually, and we're in it right now, right? A lot of people at the time last year was worried about the election, um, but I always tell my students it is important to stick with our plan. It's for Becton Dickinson, click on that and you will see the complete schedule and the trade. Again, you can download this. Zooming in at the top, write this down, between October 25th, okay, and um, the 26th and January the 19th, the stock has gone up 18 of the past 18 years, okay? An 85-day period with about 100% with accuracy over the past 18 years. And the stock actually moved up on average 9% during this time each year. So for this trade, we also use the full cost spread and you see all the details here, the entry details, the, the cost, a potential return, et cetera, et cetera. The middle section is all here. Um, yeah, I gotta say it's, 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 it's pretty dry, you know, it's, it's pretty boring, but it works. It's, it's the same every single week, okay? All these details, okay? Um, here is the risk graph. 
really important here. So this trade wrapped up back in January. The stock moved up uh, from 240 up to about 260, exactly 9%. Now using options, this 9% move turned into 127% trade, right? And that's the power of using options if you know how to use it correctly. So the profit schedule is now 19 for 19. And right now we're going for 20 for 20 um, this quarter. Okay, one more. AMT, click on that and you see the complete schedule. Same thing here. Um, send this out back in April. In the past 12 years, the stock traded up 11 of those 12 years, 91% win rate. On average, um, the stock moves up about 6.6% during this time. All right, write this down. April 18th. All right, April 21st of July the 15th. And we also use the bull call spread for this. Again, all the situational and um, exit instructions are here. And you see that the stock uh, from this trade moved up from 249 up to 278. We had a target of 270, went up to 278, about 11.6%. And the options trade returned 153%. Okay, so the whole idea is to keep things simple. The same process, consistency, that's what you get here. Um, and this approach works under all market conditions, including pandemics, elections, and so forth. Now, before I talk about how you can join the club, I need to make some things very clear. Um, first of all, this is not for those who want to get rich quick. This would not do that for you. As you can see, this is a very data, methodical driven process. Okay. And it takes time, you know, for these setups to work out. It's not cryptocurrency. Okay. Um, it's not for those who cannot follow rules. You can see this is very, very, very regimented, right? It's very rule-based. So if you cannot follow rules, um, no problem, but it's not for you. It's not for day traders, obviously. Uh, as you can see, these options trades takes a few weeks to a couple months. Um, they're not, uh, they're, they're, if, you're, if you like day trading and you, you like to enter and exit multiple times during the day, then this is not for you, all right? This is not for exclusive paper traders. You can start paper trading in the beginning, but eventually you need to implement, right? This is an implementation program. So I expect you to be prepared to execute trades. And finally, this is not for whiners. We have regular Zoom meetings with my members and they're all like-minded people in our group. So if you're the type who complain, who can't follow rules, who make excuses, this is definitely not for you, all right? But if you're not any of the above and the potential of doubling your investment on each of these trades each week makes sense to you uh, with me doing all the work, obviously, then this is a good fit. And here are some of the benefits that you will have. All right. So when you join, um, you will get uh, two to three picks from me each week. So that's at least 104 a year. That's pretty, that's quite a bit. All right. Um, and again, the good thing is you can download the information and you can use it again the following years. You get the, of course, the options trades with them as well, okay, exactly what I showed you earlier with Netflix, you know, with Beckton Dickinson, PNG, with Cree, they all look the same, okay? The, me the method is the same all the time. Um, you also get uh, bullish and bearish trades. So with me, you can always expect to look at both sides of the market. Uh, we can't go overboard trading one side. Then what happens is, you know, if, if you're all bullish, 150% bullish, you know, the market crashes, then we're in trouble, right? So we have to be um, be prudent and make sure that we you know we are hedging all the time. All right, and that's that's, that's what we do here. Um, these trades, as you saw, are simple to execute. They can work for small accounts. If you're starting out, one contracts, please. You know, and uh, I have some students who are more seasoned and they're trading um, forty to fifty contracts. All right, I'll give you the exact strike prices, all the details as well. Keep it simple. Um, and you can literally, because it's so simple, um, all the brokerage firms accept that. You can trade it with most U.S. and international discount firms. Um, the ultimate goal for me, I guess, is to save time and to profit from something that repeats um, every single year. And I hope that's the same for you. All right. So we talked about um, who should not be trading with me. Here are some of the characteristics for students who have been successful um, working with me in the past and in the present, okay? So I have a lot of traders who are busy with their, uh, their careers, their engineers, their doctors, but they want to manage their own portfolio. They, they don't want to give that up. So this will give them some the control of doing that uh, with some help with me doing some work for you guys, okay? Beginners, it's done for you every single week. While you learn, while you execute, you follow along what we do 
um, on a weekly basis. Great for people who are busy in general, who are trying to build their retirement account. This is simple to execute. The risk is relatively low compared to cryptocurrencies and whatnot. So this uh, is something that, uh, that a lot of my traders do, right? I have a lot of intermediate and advanced options traders and a lot of them, you know, they use it as a standalone strategy. They, use, they combine it with what they're currently using as well. And some of them, they use this profit schedule strictly as a bullish or bearish indicator, all right? So let's say, you know, if they're trading PNG, right? They know when to get in and when to get out. They know when to avoid being bullish for PNG, okay? So that serves a third purpose of acting as an indicator, okay? And finally, a lot of them are part-time traders as well, you know, and uh, they, they're slowly ramping themselves up to become full-time. So this allows them to kind of follow along without committing all their time to trading, okay? So the retail price for the profit schedule of corporate options over at certistrading.com is just $2,997 per year. Um, you know, it is a substantial investment. There's no doubt about that. You know, however, you, as you saw, you can recoup this investment pretty easily with a few trades. Um, you get new setups every week for the entire year, which I would have to imagine you would think that um, it is very, very fair at this price. But I'm not going to stop here um, today in this webinar. For today's Money Show attendees who are committed to learning and improving your trading, I will include the following bonuses to help you out. Okay. So number one, you will get my annual profit schedule publication. Uh, and that contains 52 of my bullish profit schedules. Um, so that's one for each week from December all the way through back to January. And you can trade them straight up using stocks or you can use options like I just taught you earlier using, using the spreads and so forth, okay? Now, this is normally reserved for my mentoring students, um, but I think you, know, you guys will actually benefit from this tremendously. So I'm gonna include that in your membership as well. Um, one more thing, you will also get the newest edition of the um, annual profit scheduler, okay? So remember, this is in addition to the two to three options trades that you will receive from me every single week. Okay, bonus number two, you will have questions along the way. So I'm including VIP support. I'm gonna send you a special email address, send us your questions, call in, mention that you're a member and my staff will make sure that, um, you know, they get their questions to me right away. And also, if there's any administrative issues that you have, of course, they will look after you also, okay? Bonus number three, you also get my bi-weekly coaching calls, okay? I wanna make sure that you succeed, make sure that you do well. Um, on these calls that we do every second week, you know, you ask me questions, we dive deep into trades. Um, I share the same insight that I do with my, men my private mentorship program students, and those cost $30,000 a year, okay? So this is how I personally help you get to that next level. All right, so here's a quick recap for you. You get the options trades, um, you get the profit schedules, bullish and bearish trades to stay hedged, um, the complete archive that you, you can download right away on, onto your, uh, your computer. You get all the entry and exit details, okay? And you get the three bonuses. And by far um, for me is the, is the uh, bi-weekly coaching calls. Those are special times that I spend with my students on a bi-weekly basis, you know, and, uh, um, and this is how we, we learn together. Okay, so the total value of what I'm presenting to you here is $2,997. Um, even at this price, is, is worth the investment. Um, look at how, you can, how well you can scale up your trades and build your capital. But at the same time, from speaking to the show organizer, I know that some of you are newer to options and don't have a big account just yet. So here's what I'm going to do for you in this presentation today. Um, if you're willing to invest in yourself, you know, I'm going to uh, invest in you as well. It's very simple. Uh, I've had this through my entire life and the last nine years that I've been a mentor, you're not going to pay $2,997 a year. Um, for this presentation, I have created 10 gold memberships and these 10 gold members, we only pay $14.97 for not one, but two full years of membership. Um, I want to make this affordable for 10 of you today who are ready to get started. If you do the math, that's about 50% off the regular price and you get double the time trading with me for two years. So the link for you to register now is certistrading.com slash money show 10. And in addition to the two full year of gold membership, I want to make sure that you can make this decision without any risk whatsoever. Your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed. Um, if you don't think this is simply the most effective way of building wealth trading options, over the next 30 days, just email us 
at support at certistraining.com and I will buy back your membership and you will get a 100% refund in the next 30 days, okay? So there's literally nothing that um, you can lose here. All you have to do right now is go to certistraining.com slash moneyshow10 to register for one of the 10 spots available at this price. Um, when you do that, there'll be a form that pops up, fill that, in, um, fill that in and send it over to secure internet and your username and your password will be sent to you in the next few minutes by email and you can start trading with me right away. And of course, like I said before, if you change your mind for any reason at any point over the next 30 days, you have my um, guarantee to back you up, okay? So I finished my presentation. I hope it was helpful and I was able to give you some new trading ideas, at least. For those of you who are joining the cup, I will see you at our next coaching call. Uh, actually, the next one is next Thursday, November 11th at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Okay, so it looks like I've been going on for exactly 45 minutes. Candice, I'm done. I'm passing the mic back to you. Enjoy Thank the rest you of the very day, much, everybody. Matt. We appreciate it.